leave a message after the tone. You've got seven questions, dude. Your life is going down the tubes. What do you do when you need advice? Rick, it's good. Good night. What am I fighting for? So turn down the lights, pick up the phone, and leave a message for the new crowd. After dark. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan After Dark, After Craig Bitches Out. Um, His bloodline is weak. I know. So we are here. We got. We do have Cameron on the line. Um, <clears throat> Cameron on the stream. We, we, we had some fun with the uh, Twitch images. <laughs> we, just, we pulled you guys in uh, next to I see months. that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Craig's. I still love Craig's. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. It's so it's so good. It's just so perfect. It encapsulates everything that Craig is. I know, I know. Uh, yes, half chub, Cameron. That's very nice. Uh, okay, I so I really like the R.A.P. Noodle Clan though. N- noodle Clan. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> the old noodle. <laughs> Noodle. Uh, so, guys, we only have one question. We were supposed to finish Musashi this week and review it. Two things happened. One, I, uh, I, I'm i sorry. I No, three things happened. One, I procrastinated. And I was like, okay, I can do it in two days at 1.5 speed, which I was on track to do. Um, but I come into work the second of those two days, and I asked yesterday or the day before to be trained in a new area, and today... Or yesterday, depending on how f- you fucking view time, I, I I was I was asked to go over there, so I had to learn a new area. Um, so I couldn't actually listen to anything for the first four hours or so, and uh, that's that's a, that's thing number two. Thing number three is Craig is in here, so we wouldn't review it anyway. So that kind of sucks. And he wouldn't uh, call in either because he's a little bitch. Yeah, I thought I had a bitch. Yeah, yeah. I guess his sinuses or or allergies or something. I think it was allergies. Um, said they're acting up, so that's not good. Uh, hopefully, he's not coronaed from Zach here. I don't have corona. Well, yeah. I mean, you you work most in, more in the public than any of us, though. Yeah, dude. They put like a like a fence up, kind of, and all the truck drivers. Well, being Craig. About it. Well, both you and Craig, though, Schweiss, associate with a ton of coworkers. That's true. Yeah. That potential inlets. You're touching everyone's mail, bro. If anyone had it. I'm just saying. Yeah. 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 Hand, I, ha- handle any fucking anal plugs from China yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was funny. I, I found one last night and it was uh, it was addressed to someone and I, I felt it. I always like to feel the mail when I'm like running it just for fun, just to find like sex toys. I think it's funny. And then I send pictures of the, or, or, I'm just kidding. I, I, I'm not actually allowed to do that legally, but uh. No address, no address, just the just the description. So a lot of times China is very like they're they're really funny with uh they'll call it like orifice plug or something. They'll call it something uh-huh. weird a lot of times. <laughs> and so I'm like, you know, I, I sent a picture and I was like, sometimes China's China's covert, other times it's anal plug. <laughs> and then I looked at it some more and I was like, Okay, this thing says there's two anal plugs in here, but I only feel one. And I was like what fucking rip off Chinese bastards? And I was like, no, 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 it's no. One of those two for ones. Yeah, yeah, it's double sided, maybe. But I was like, <laughs> okay, I know what it is. If you touch it, it automatically just morphs into your asshole. Yeah, yeah, no. One of them is in the bag, and one of them is already up our ass, our ec- our, <laughs> our economic assholes. <laughs> it's China's revenge. Right yeah, now. yeah, China's revenge. All two pack anal dildos come with one because they're already <laughs> fucking us with the other one. <laughs> So I, I had a really fun time last night when I when I came up with that string of of joke of beads of beads. Yeah, <laughs> I found some really disturbing stuff. I found some like massive dildos, like ridiculous, like scary 
scary dildos going out, and I'm like... I think most of the giant dildos are being bought by fucking chads who want to fuck around with them, slap each other with them. Oh, yeah, or like yeah. the the one hilarious meme image of the the guy with his mouth open and someone tosses like a <laughs> massive dildo. <laughs> And it just yeah, fucking true. goes, like, deep. <laughs> you know what? I think for a stream, we should have the Dildo Olympics. Oh. We have to do, like, Olympic-style stuff with it. I do love Olympics when it, it be, comes to sex. I think it'd be really funny. Yeah. Like the Dildo Toss. Yeah, the Dildo Toss. And then, like, the Dildo Ice Sweep thing. Yeah, it'd be hilarious. The curling. Dildo curling. We should run out of church for it, too. It'd be really funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have one call. It's a first-time call, though, so I'm worried that it's not actually a call. But let's find out, guys. Yeah, eventually. Hey, Nude Clan. First-time caller, long-time listener. I uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on why Sony is not announcing the PS5 yet. Do you <laughs> think it's because of the coronavirus, or do you think it's because of something else? Uh, just one of your thoughts. Thanks. Well, this uh, this question aged well. Yeah, yeah. Did they? Didn't they? Didn't they, <laughs> didn't they announce it already? Isn't that what they it, they showed the specs? I don't know if they've actually showed the PlayStation. Uh, I don't know if they've had the date either. No, I don't think they have either. Mm. Well, I don't know. Um, Fuck, dude, I don't follow... They announced the specs and everything, and they said holiday season this year, so... Yeah, I think it's the fact that there's no hard release date, because they've said holiday season this year for, like, a while now. Right. Well, that was after they had their dude stand up in front of his fake audience and give a um, whole, you know, spiel on what it's going to have and whatnot. And then they're saying, yeah, like, holiday season this right, year. Right, but that's because they can't be definite with, like, all the shutdowns from coronavirus. They can't, yeah. they can't promise you a date right now. Japan uh, re- reluctantly has to rely on China as well. They probably hate it. They just like their eyes just go super, super like almost closed, and they're like China, or maybe they say it just like Trump does China. They're like, ooh, you should be us. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I I imagine that's probably a big part of the delay. I don't know if it's really delayed though, because they've said holiday season of this year for years. I mean, it's been known that it's going to be. You know, 2020, 2019 or 2020 holiday season was kind of like the rumor times, you know? And obviously it didn't happen in 2019, and this is the year. Um, hopefully we don't get too many delays. Um, I'm buying one straight up, so whatever. Same, yeah. same. I'm, I held off on getting a PS4. So I was going to wait to see whether or not they're going to release it this year or push it back. If they pushed it back, I would have picked up a PS4 Pro. And since they didn't, I'm holding on for that PS5. I just don't... I don't know how I feel about getting a game console first generation anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I mean, PS3 first gen was fine. Right. Um, PS4, I had to I had to send mine back in to get fixed because the jackasses forgot a screw. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I don't think mine was first gen. I didn't get my PS4 until the FF15 demo came out. So it was like a couple years old. I, I'm always I used to always be really behind and I, I kinda I kinda don't want to be that way anymore. I mean I, I want to be especially if it's backwards compatible in all the ways that it's supposed to right. be, like there's no reason to not get it to me because I can still play everything that I already have. Um but I, I've been really I'm exceptionally cheap on like my hardware and stuff. Like I haven't I don't have a a four K T V. I d I don't even know if mine's like ten eighty <laughs> Um, I don't have the PS4 Pro. I mean, I've always kind of skimped on things like that. And this time I kind of just want to treat myself for all my years of, you know, penny pinching when it came to games, so to speak. I mean, there I did order a 300. TVs are not worth it, in my opinion, anyway, not yet. Well, once we get something with that puts out as much graphical output as the new consoles will, it might be. But like, like, I, uh, it's all about them 4K monitors and gaming on that. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. High refresh rate in 4K. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that for COD because everyone I talk to that does it says their game has increased like a ton. Really? Yeah, just for the speed of... It's the reaction times because you see more frames to react to. Yeah, so I mean, I'm looking looking to really treat myself for once and have like something new and nice when it comes out. Um, 
hopefully we can still do that when the time comes, and hopefully it's not delayed. But I, I imagine if it does get pushed back further, I mean, it's definitely going to be because of supply shortages. And they don't yeah. want to have... I, I don't know. I do, do we think they'd push it back if they had enough to ship, like, I don't know, maybe like a million copies or a million consoles because i mean we do they do you think they'd go the route of the switch how much just did say, ps4 sell and release um i don't know the ps4 is a really well-selling console though it's like it's up there um i think it had a pretty good release but i mean i'm wondering if they would put it out even if they didn't have enough to meet demand that'd be interesting and in- to make it, would, it I, yeah, if I could talk, holy shit, it can make a demand too. Where it's like, oh, I didn't get one, but everyone loves it. But once yeah, have it, love it, and I want it. It could be, it could be similar to, it could be similar to that with the Switch, where like it took a long time for everyone that wanted a Switch to get a Switch, and people were scalping them, people were buying them for a ton of money. You know, it was, it was crazy. And I, there's a lot to be said about waiting until you have everything you need to make a good release and everyone gets it, but also. I could see them releasing it early and just saying, or not early, but like with half as many as they'd want to, right. and just just to get it out there. Um, hopefully, I'd still be able to get a a console if they did that. But I mean, that might be a result of the shortages. I don't really know how um, how deep those shortages go. I mean, we're not right. really on the inside, so yeah, we don't know how many how many units they have in production, and you know. yeah, exactly. I mean. So hopefully, hopefully the virus doesn't delay it too much. I wouldn't be surprised if it did delay it at some to some extent, um, just based on everything else that's been going on. Although it, it seems like China's kind of getting back up and going, going back to work. Of course, yeah, I don't keep, know. They keep saying a little bit. Yeah, they keep saying there's no there's no new cases, but I don't know if I, I feel like that. they're still a little bit more restricted than we are right now. But uh, yeah, yeah starting to. They're starting to this force right people. There. They're 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 breaking the welds on the doors and forcing them to go back to work, <laughs> if they live from their from their their tombs. Their tombs. Yeah. So I mean, hopefully it's it gets back to normal, um, at least for that. Because eh? if we're gonna be quarantined, I want to have some PS Five, bro. <laughs> I want to be playing. They should, really, they should just release it early. To, I, they to should release it. it right now. Yeah. It's just <laughs> whatever you have, just pump it out. Um, I'd be down. Yeah, I think that's it for our questions, though. Um, as far as uh, as far as the Skype goes, is there anything in the Discord? Yeah, we could check. You want to pull it up? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. You could be the the new dedicated Discord guy since Craig is uh, Craig has shown his failings. His failings. At like, oh, no new questions. Well, if, uh, should we see if anyone wants to call in right now and have a brief chat? Yeah, if you guys want to call in on the Twitch, it's 385-204-3921. We're taking your calls right now. It's we are live with you. 385-204-3921. Craig has been replaced by his own image. His own image. The hard thing about the Discord is everyone talks in the places they shouldn't talk. After Dark Questions, guys... Is not a place. Yeah, there's one at the bottom. For 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 normal discussion. Worst one that stands out. Okay, when did you guys first fall in love? Okay, we did those. Did those. <sighs> a movie that scared you. I think we did that. Traumatized you as a kid. Well, did we do that? What movie traumatized you as a kid? I don't remember if we did. Whoa! It's deafening. Hello, welcome. Hello. Caller, you're on the air. Caller, you're, you're live with Nude Clan. Hello. Caller, hello. The Corona got him as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's right before he we answered. The Corona has claimed our good friend here on the. Uh, on the other line. It's unfortunate. All right. If there's another caller who isn't verbally challenged, go for calling. I don't know. Joe, why is your why is your thing not working, bro? 
All right. So, what movie traumatized you guys as a kid? Um, I don't think we answered that one. It doesn't. I, it's weird because it's above ones that we did answer, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. Uh, it. The original It movie traumatized me as a kid. Okay. It. Yeah. It's a. It's a scary one. Um, I watched it when I was like, I don't know, like four or five, and I was terrified to take baths afterwards because the drains, man. <laughs> they come up from the fucking drains. Yeah, I never really watched it, so I can't say that one really got to me because I've never, I still haven't seen it. I also but... watched the um, that re- that older, I forget what it's called. It had Owen Wilson in it, the horror House on Haunted Hill. House on Haunted Hill. The scene where the uh, flu cleaner comes in, swipes off his head. That'll haunt me for years. Dude, that that was mine. My mom like was watching it, and so I was like sneaking, like hiding behind the couch watching it, and I. I didn't sleep that whole night as a kid. Like, I was walking around the house, like, freaking out, but I didn't turn the lights on because I'm an idiot. I mean, after watching that, I was looking up at, like, at the houses before I leave just to make sure I don't have any gargoyles to fall on top of me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I That one I watched, that one I shouldn't have watched as well. That's a, that's a common one for us. Uh, that did really kind of fuck me up for a little while. I was like, oh, my God, because it's so surprising. You just don't expect it at all, and then he just lops his head off. Uh, there was that... Um, Signs was always really creepy when it first came out. Like, <laughs> and it was so funny because for the longest time, um, the very first time you see the alien like standing on the roof, you know, yeah. when it like it cuts to the roof and it's just like, Bring! like this fucking like cello like rage for like half a second. My TV's uh, <laughs> my TV's brightness is always super low, and I was just a little kid and I was watching it and I was like, why does he keep doing that? Like, I would watch this movie over and over again and I was like, what's with the the roof thing, like, it just like, cuts to the house. It's like, Grrr. like, what, what's scary about the house? And then finally I got a new TV, and I was like, oh, my God, he's on the roof. <laughs> it's like, holy shit, that's terrifying. No wonder that part's in the movie. I could never <laughs> figure it out before. That's funny. Oh, but, like, the, the fucking, oh, the part where, like, Meryl is walking through the corn, and he turns around, and you just see the fucking ankle go into the thing. Like, ah, oh, dude, no. I don't like that. Back when uh, he was on, in his prime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he didn't make Avatar: The Last Airbender yet. That's right, that's right. And back when Joaquin Phoenix wasn't doing crazy speeches on stage, <laughs> <laughs> while also being the the most sane human being in the building, right? <laughs> uh, strangely, but he man, he's a good he's a good actor. But I'm trying to think of other horror movies. Uh, that one's always always creeped me out. I don't know. I just. Dude, I, I kind of loved them as a kid because they were like the only way I could, like, could sneak and see like boobs and stuff. It was like horror movies. Oh, yeah. Saving Private Ryan, the slow stabbing scene. That one was really fucked up, too. Oh, that part. Oh, is that that's the, the, the one? The, not the sniper, the other dude. That part pisses me off because I hate the guy that's like hiding down there. It just makes me mad. It doesn't yeah. scare me, but it Tell makes me so man. fucking mad. And then he doesn't, do he doesn't kill him, yeah. The German guy just leaves him. Uh, that or the sticky bomb guy. The guy that goes out to like plant the <laughs> sticky bomb and he just fucking... There's a dude, uh, what is it, the dude that gets sniped to the first time. Let's see what we got. Hello? Welcome to Nude Clan. Fuck, dude. It hates the... Is it because that I'm on a call with you at the same time I can't split the audio? Maybe. Do you know who it is trying to call him? Yeah, it's Joe. Facebook. All right, yeah, let's do that. How yeah. how big is Cameron's beard now? Um, mm-hmm. yeah, since uh, since I haven't been out of the house in like uh, in an age, it's grown like five inches in that time. It's all wild. <laughs> Seclusion's really good for beard growth. Well, let's get Joe in. Give him his give him his time. What's up? Welcome to welcome to Nude Clan After Dark. I don't hear him. Yeah. Can you hear me now? It's Joe. Jeez, yeah, I hear him. There we go. Oh, the crate had allergies? That's yeah, a, yeah, apparently sorry. his head is a tennis ball right now. Yeah, yeah. His head is a tennis ball. <laughs> his mind is a marble. A marble. 
I may need to skip today. My allergies are fucking me, and I've got a headache the size of a golf ball. And then Schweiss, of course, comes in with, you sure that isn't your brain rattling around in there? My brain is at least a tennis ball, Schweiss. Zinger. Yeah, yeah. I'm, my, I'm in my prime yeah. when, I, when I'm tired. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> uh, I know that for a fact. I thought I thought Craig got the coronavirus. I'm like, you got two hosts down. <laughs> yeah, I'm not down. I, I am be... positive by now. I don't have it. How positive? No, you don't. Not not by this point. But exactly. um, my my assumption is that I'll check back next week and it'll just be Schweiss and he's uh, <laughs> hooked up to like a breathing apparatus. <laughs> an iron himself. lung. He's just yeah. He's just like <laughs> it's just uh, the fucking breathe in. Just... Yeah. Anyways, I was talking to this, this fucker at the and then just like every other fucking <laughs> fucking sentence is just the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Have you looked at those uh, estimates on New York Times, like when the virus is gonna peak and stuff? Oh, it hasn't yet. Oh fuck. No, it hasn't. No, I haven't looked at that now. No. So if we, if we, according to them, if we take no action, then the virus will peak around like May first. But if we take action, it'll peak way later. Like we're all doing. Like we're all kind of um, quarantining ourselves and stuff like that. So they, they have no idea how long this is going to last. Well, fuck. Does Do that mean we're not going to Fanime? That's what I was going to ask. Do you think we're going to cancel our Fanime con? For fucking sake. God, dude. I can't go see fucking anime titties anymore. <laughs> yeah. Anime con? It- Come on. Well, that's where uh, Jacob and Zach and uh, Dina all want to go, and I wanted to hang out and go to I, California. Hey, I, to I, hey don't, don't, don't you Angry drop this on me. Well. No, don't you drop this on me. You guys said, hey, you want to go? And I was like, yeah, sure. I would have rather yeah, went to Star course. Wars land, dude. Come on. See, but I wouldn't have gone if you weren't going to go, Zach. Oh, well, that makes me feel good. We can walk around yeah. and con with our body pillows <laughs> and make people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> But I was going to meet up with Angry Ass Black Dude and go visit uh, San Francisco and stuff. Dude, like I that. want to do that, too. That's what I was saying. Like, San Fran would be sick. He's going to show you the Potemkin village that is San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Look how nice it is here. It's all locked down. No one's allowed <laughs> yeah. out of the houses. <laughs> well, streets haven't uh, been this clean in years. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we can go fucking isolate in, in Alcatraz. That'd be fine. I'm not living in Alcatraz. <laughs> yeah. The Rock is Dude, I, total I left L.A. I left L.A. right on time. Dude, yeah. you really okay. did. You were you were smart. No, dude. Have you seen the stand? You're the guy who like breaks through the gate right as it's closing and kills everybody. That's the, <laughs> <laughs> that's you. the virus breaks out, infects him and his family, and he the the, the 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 facilities close it down, and he scrapes through the gate right as it's closing, and he ends up killing almost everybody in the world. <laughs> oh man, dude, I like I I left like four days before. Planet Fitness shut down their stuff. Oh man! Like, oh, that's per- perfect timing. Was that the real? Yeah, was, no, that, was that the real really marker? Fucked living in your car. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you don't more shower. Yeah, no more yep. place to sleep. Just fucking Joe fed and Joe in a fucking car. It smelled like <laughs> fucking cheese. Yeah. <laughs> the coronavirus can't uh, survive in that kind of environment, so you're safe. Yeah, just sweat it out in your car. Like, can't turn on the AC. If I turn on the AC, it'll live. <laughs> can't handle the heat. So you quit your job then? Yeah, yeah. I, so, I, uh, wait, the new one or the or the one in LA? Of course, the I one in the LA. LA. Well, when, so okay, okay. Well, we'll unpack this a little bit. So you quit your job in LA. How did it go with uh, your senorita? We got to know. Have that update. Um. We just said a, a nice goodbye, and that was it. You're not going to write um, her letters to, her, to the districts? I'm not going to what? You're going to send her letters to the apocalyptic districts? No, I don't think so. I can send her messages on Facebook, I guess. but <sighs> Not as romantic. But she's yeah. uh, not open to that issue? It, no, I mean, I don't know. I haven't tried, but I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to move on. Yeah, it's time to move on. But uh, where'd you uh, get a new job? You know, it can be just it can be here? just as romantic. Yeah, uh, it can be just as romantic if you if you uh, do it in calligraphy writing. 
you know, <laughs> calligraphy font. <laughs> That's the new like I, romance letter. Right. Um, <laughs> no, I I got a job at a temp agency for the last two days, um, and it was like a it was like a warehouse sorting books or something like that for eleven fifty <laughs> an hour. I don't and know why because you, yeah because it was um, and eleven fifty an hour is just kind of like the low end here in Utah, yeah. so it's not not for people in other states. I'm sure that sounds awful, which it still kind of is. But um, so I went there and I worked there for two days, and they were ten hour shifts, really long. They make you wear these headset things that tell you what to grab, and you're not allowed to have cell phones. Uh, out on the floor because you're not allowed to take. Basically, they're they're afraid people will take pictures, and this is a sorting facility of books, and sometimes books are not um, they're not out yet, so they're like they keep everything under wraps there, and you'll get immediately fired. Oh shit! Is the new that. is the new Game of Thrones book in there? <laughs> Since there you already... was a Game of Thrones book I saw. I don't I don't know. No, no, not the not. Not a not no, not what you're thinking. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. No. I, I I just got erect um, for the first time in your voice. Can confirm he is erect. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Um, but they they wouldn't allow so they wouldn't allow you to listen to music, and also it's not really a social atmosphere either. And there was a guy who was like hacking up a lung <laughs> the other day. And he was sick. He was clearly sick, and no one sent him home. And so I, I called my temp agency yesterday and said, oh, I'm not working out there. Just anymore. joke. Just get me the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> yeah. Get me out of here. No, my Any parents are in their... Agency, but not that way. <laughs> my, my parents are in their upper 50s and stuff. I can't be working at a place that doesn't respect... Bro, the, it sounds boring too. Like if they like listen to music, it wouldn't be so oh. bad. Or like books or podcasts, but the fact that you're just chilling, like that's it, kind of blows. No, it may be the worst job ever. Like it's an easy job, and you're not dealing with terrible customers. So I guess not the worst job ever. But if the fact that you can't, I can't listen. I'm surrounded by books, and I can't listen to a book <laughs> drives me insane. <laughs> so I, yeah. uh, I I applied for some rural driving positions for the USPS and if uh nice. if those don't pan out then I will I will probably move down to Payson and uh try to get a job at the sort facility that twice works at. Oh we'll see. Well we're definitely nice. looking. That'd be fun. because um, they start at <laughs> they start at like seventeen. Yeah, it's so. like if you work overnight though it ends up being like uh eighteen thirty or something. What you will yeah, be. it starts it starts at eighteen something if you're a driver, which I have the qualifications for. Yeah, so yeah. I'm hoping I get one of those. Uh, I applied for but, the census to do extra extra work too. You could do that. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's it's happening. Oh. I mean, that's probably the well, worst what, way to keep yourself not sick. <laughs> yeah, going door to door and quarantine. Yeah, seeing people. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's I, it's decent. It looks like. Yeah, I gotta like not get this virus for the next like six months. That's kind of the thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have cared, but now I live with my parents up here. I probably wouldn't care if I lived with like my sister down in Payson either. Yeah, I'm just kind of young there, but catch it and get it over um, with, kind of a thing. Yeah, I got yeah, I got my like step grandfather. He's in his eighties and cream crab like that, so I can't be. Yeah, I, that's that's what Britain was sick. Britain was trying to do is just kind of like have a situation where they locked up all the old people, basically all the at risk, and then just had it run through the population. But a lot of people got really pissed at that plan, and so they kind of changed. <laughs> yeah. They've uh, they're sh- yeah. going the other way around with that too. No, they're they're shut. <laughs> yeah, they're they're shutting everything. Down. I have a friend that like I talk to like regularly. She lives over in Wales, and they yeah they shut everything down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know which way is the best way. But well, I guess well, we'll find out. <laughs> this, is, this is somewhat somewhat unprecedented. Yeah, somewhat it's, unprecedented. it's a little. You can't really be prepared for this kind of thing. It's yeah, pretty, who would have thought I mean, we'd be in a pandemic in 2020? You know? I mean, before they just let it run through, and of course, millions of people die depending on the epidemic or the pandemic. Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah, like bird flu. To, bird flu is bird flu is brutal. Gift of Dwight Schrute saying we need a good pandemic. <laughs> it, 
it looks like on the low end it's going to be like 400,000 people dead. Well, what are we in at the right United now? States. In the U.S.? Yeah. No, on the low end. I think that's ridiculous. Estimate. On the high end, it's about 2 million. I think, I, think that's, I think that's way too much. Well, the estimate from that Dr. Fauci guy was that uh, like a third. I think it was from Dr. Fauci. It might not be. Don't listen to me, guys. But um, it, it was something like a third to two-thirds of the population will get sick yeah. over the next year. See, that makes sense. I, I think that and if a third and two thirds of three hundred and twenty million people get sick and the death rate is between one and seven percent. Yeah, that's that's a lot. There you go. That's a yeah, lot. I think be a lot the death of rate is skewed as well, but just because the US hasn't been up to speed on testing yet. And so out of the confirmed cases and the deaths right now, I'm pretty sure that percent is much smaller. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the the sickness lasts for weeks, so they don't have good numbers until this is all. That's true. Over with. Yeah, I I wouldn't be surprised. But he said it's definitely not less than one percent. Yeah, no, I would. One percent of three hundred and twenty million people is well, thirty-two. One percent of two thirds or one third of three hundred and twenty million people is still a lot of people. Yeah, one percent is three point two million. That's a lot. I wouldn't. I, that's yeah. that's fair. That's, that's probably everybody about. Everybody got. Sick. Yeah, that's that. See, and that's the thing I was telling Chase because I was I was telling Chase he said something about that on Twitter, and I told him I bet him fifty bucks that it's ends up being under three percent fatality rate, and I think it really it, will be because it doesn't make sense that it would go up or even stay even once you're testing more people. It's just mathematically not possible um, for it to do that. Well, they- they tested out of like the two hundred thousand people tested in South Korea. One percent was the death rate. Yeah, that's why I think, um, and that's still really high. That's like which is fucking the high. biggest sample size, and that's huge. And it's it's so it's tiny for little kids, and then once you're over fifty, it it becomes like gigantic, brutal. Yeah. So I I, so I, I it's, it'll be clear. It's not and... something to to be flippant about. No, I yeah. thought it was at the beginning, and I. Yeah, we're uh, wrong. Yeah, wrong. that's not Definitely that. Wrong. That's not what I say when I. That's not what I'm saying when I'm downplaying. And I'm saying don't don't be like terrified to do anything. It's just be conscious of be conscious of everyone around you and it's, yeah and that kind of thing. So you're saying I can't go down the street open carrying everywhere I go just to maintain <laughs> social distance. <laughs> you know, I would. I mean, what better way to get people not to stand next to you than you know having a mega hat on and a whole NAR on my back? Yeah, no gonna come near See, me the only point. place that wouldn't work that advice doesn't work in like Texas though because it's like everyone's yeah, already true. doing this. Yeah, maybe and not it's the probably mega not as good here in Utah either. Now you mention it. Oh, I could I could uh, wear a fill the burn hat though. Oh yeah, with it with an assault rifle, and then everyone's just like, "What the?" <laughs> exactly. They don't know what to do at that point. Yeah, no one wants to be near you because they don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I did find out a couple weeks ago there are there is a group of liberals that support the Second Amendment. They yeah, think I'm it's, one of them. It's, uh, exactly. It's it's just like it's a group of liberals like you've that known say, your whole life. The minorities family. are the ones who need the Second Amendment. Yeah, well, same with the free speech thing. That's what makes it so funny that people always attack it. They're like, it's unfair to minorities. It's like, it's the only way they could speak. <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, no, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you know, it's, I feel like, I feel like Bernie Sanders doesn't count as a liberal, though. I mean, he's socialist. Yeah, he's way further. So, like, it's kind of. Hey, but Bernie Sanders is pro-gun and pro-hunting. Is he yeah. Really? I didn't know that. I've heard yeah, that. If you yeah. listen to the Joe Rogan podcast, he talked about it. He's not. I told uh, you to listen to that thing. He's he's not. He's super far left on a lot of things, but not everything. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because Joe Biden is like a gun gun guy because he he just said Beto. He t- he told everyone that he's going to make Beto O'Rourke his gun guy, and Beto O'Rourke <laughs> was the man that said we're coming for your guns. That ended his political campaign. <laughs> it's like great, well, lovely. He's not going to be president. Uh, um, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be. He's not, gonna think he is. Not with an economic stimulus package and a, a virus problem that, although I'm sure, and I've talked to people on Twitter about this, that, that Trump's slow reaction, I'm sure, made it worse. It is not Trump's fault that a virus was created. And yeah. So this uh, this stimulus package is going to look like Trump handing money to the people, and Biden will not win that election. 
No, uh, he's too old. He's uh, he's losing his mind too. I don't know if you've listened uh, to any of the debates, but he's he's. I <laughs> I watched the last debate and he was rough in the first half and he was better in the second half. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree. That was his best debate, I, I think. I I also I I, w- I will be voting for Biden, but um, I I know he's not going to win. <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably not. I mean, he has a better chance than Sanders does. Obviously, I kind of want. I kind of four years ago, no. This year, yeah. Yeah. You're well, right. I think I think uh, a lot of people are talking about how Sanders overestimated his his uh, candidacy based on last time, and I think it makes sense this time because last time the argument is now looking back and seeing how he fares against Biden, who's you know barely cognizant. And he's getting his ass whooped. Um, it's the argument was it wasn't that they liked Sanders; it's that everybody hates Hillary Clinton, and so they all voted for Bernie, which is exactly what I did. I voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary because I was like, "Fuck Hillary Clinton! I'm voting for Sanders." And now, of course, I can never live it down because, like, my father-in-law is like, "Oh well, <laughs> only one of us here voted for Bernie Sanders," and I'm like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> it's like it was not no, voting for too. him; I was voting against her. Okay. <laughs> I heard that's a, that's a, a valid, a valid uh, tactic because Democrats let anyone vote in their primaries, right? Uh, in certain places, yeah. In Utah, they and do. Then, and, Utah. Then, and then the Republicans only allow Republicans to vote. So if you register Republican, you can vote in both primaries to have the best chance of you know voting for people in either party you'd rather see. Yeah. I, I listened to uh, – I've been listening to a bunch of Ben Shapiro, though, and then he made a good point that made me decide not to do that. And his point was even if it's open – he said you shouldn't vote in the Democratic primary because you should leave it up to Democrats to choose their nominee and not meddle. Because there's a lot of people online that are like, oh, let's get Sanders in there. It's like a troll move so they can just destroy the Democratic Party in the election. And he was like, just let them choose who they want to choose. Anyone that goes in and like tries to skew it as just being a dick. And I was like, you know, that's a really good point. If it was Hillary Clinton again, I might not listen, but... It's not, and I honestly, it's not really. It shouldn't be me choosing it because it's like, let's be honest here. I'm not going to vote for either of them, so why should I vote for any of them now? Right. <laughs> and so I was like, that makes sense. I'll, I'll just sit it out. But uh, it's going to be it, crazy. I don't know. Yeah, no one's going to show up because they're still going to be dealing with coronavirus. But do you think? Uh, do you think his whole move about doing stuff with coronavirus and like getting money for that? Do you think that's going to help his case out, or do you think it's going to push him further down? Who, Trump? Bernie. Oh, uh... Bernie's not going to win that nomination. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's fair. I I don't know if he gets out. I kind of hope he doesn't get out, and I hope that he... It swings more in his direction. But it's amazing to see how... Dude, Joe Biden is the least prepared candidate that there is out there. Like, he did the least amount of work on the ground. He has, like, almost the least amount of money. And the only reason why he's winning right now is because everybody hates Bernie Sanders. Right. Well, he's the establishment. He has the connections. He's going to get the the votes. He's got the establishment. Um, he's got the media. In the Democratic and, Party. Yeah. And all they had to do was say, hey, we should vote for Biden. Everyone else folds. And then they give it to Biden. I mean, even Tulsi Gabbard got out, for God's sake. Oh, like, that's saying something. Yeah, because she's like eternal. You know, <laughs> she's going to be the new. She's probably going to be the new fucking. Uh. uh Paul, Ron Paul, just like every time it's going to be Tulsi Gabbard at 1%, just tearing it up with that <laughs> sweet, sweet body. And no one votes anyway. No one votes for her. But, hey, she's there. But, like, even she got out. So, like, I think it really is, you know, the, the, the establishment and then the media basically, you know, everyone started shitting on Bernie when they realized how trash Bernie was. Plus, he's not even a registered Democrat. Like, that's what makes it so hilarious. He's not even... He's running as one, yeah. He's running as a Democrat. Yeah, it's like, what? The f- They're not gonna let that guy win. Are you fucking high? Like, he has no... He, they have no control over him, which is really weird to think that that's the biggest thing, but at the same time, it's like, no, this is our platform, and he, you don't belong, so get the fuck out. <laughs> but it's crazy yeah, to see how they yeah. rallied behind the guy who was just dying, because, like, his campaign was getting destroyed. Like, Joe Biden was leading going into everything, and then when they did the first two states, he lost. Like, he lost direly in Ohio and New Hampshire. Like, he barely, I don't even think he got a single delegate in one of one or two of those. And so, and he had spent the least amount of time on the ground. He had the worst showings ever because he was just 
there was one city where he he got to, and then before the results even came in for the night, he moved on to the next city because he knew he lost. Like he didn't even stay to like talk to people. There's like no support, and then suddenly for it to do a 180, like it's it's more impressive on the the stance of uh, the the party and the establishment than it is Joe Biden. And it's funny watching him like talk about how he has all the momentum, and it's like. Pfft. You don't have momentum. You just have the. You just have everyone behind you. Bernie Sanders just has anti momentum. That's all it is. <laughs> it's crazy though. It's insane how it flipped for him. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of glad. Like, part of me wants the the anarchy of just the the possibility of a Bernie Sanders and just like let's just fight it out. Let's see who lives. Like, who <laughs> wins? Who dies? This is the ultimate showdown. We'll drop them in a cage with coronavirus <laughs> and we'll let them fight it. Yeah, break a broom in half. I mean. I think Trump on paper is kind of a moderate, though. So it's not like it's like too um, extreme. I know that's down. that's true. It is <laughs> it is the it is more of a free market approach versus like a downright socialist fighting it out. Though it's like a, you yeah. could you could view it as like America versus socialism, I guess. But yeah, you're right. He is he is one of the most moderates that actually was running in 2016. To be honest. The only other one that yeah. was more moderate was that Kasich guy. He was just kind of, he was low energy, so he couldn't win. Um, yeah. It's, I don't know, man. It's crazy watching stuff unfold. The whole stimulus thing is insane. Like, just give me my PS5 money. Yeah, just give me my PS5 money. I'm ready for that thing, man. That'll keep me afloat for a while. That'll be nice. I know, yeah. I'm like, thanks. Uh, you know what People I want to do? People figuring out what they're going to blow it on. You're just like, man, I don't have to work for a minute. That'd be nice. Yeah, I could pay off my movie debt. <laughs> Give me that That's PS5. Right. <laughs> yeah, though, I, I wonder, though, because like, if they take the 2018 tax return, I didn't have... I mean, I have a kid now, and I didn't before, so like, am I going to be screwed on not having, having the I thought having kid? a kid is better for you. Well, yeah, but I didn't have them when 2018, which is where they're pulling it oh, from. I so, didn't really. Yeah, they, uh, my 500 bucks for Nicholas. I, where's that shit? Yeah, you're still from from you're years still years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. It's everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's everybody that didn't make over 150000 and uh hey, man, that's me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm famished over here, right? I'm dying. Fucking dying. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, yeah, you can see how skin and bones I am. That's... <laughs> yeah. Skin's just billowing off. So Craig, Craig didn't come in because of allergies. Allergies. Okay. Um, that that is yeah. what he said. Yeah, it is what he Craig said. Craig hardly ever misses unless it's like a family thing, and he's telling you that it's allergies. Yeah, it's I don't know. You, you think it's Corona? Uh, me doubts. Uh, no, I don't think it's Corona. Oh, okay. I bet. I bet something happened, and he's calling it allergies. Um, I mean, he was sounded not, pretty. He sounded pretty uh, mucusy and sick yesterday. Oh, did he? He did oh, get off. He got off pretty early too, compared to when he usually gets off PlayStation as well. Huh. huh. Maybe then, yeah. It's a mystery. You guys should take the the Zoom microphone over and um, and do a little uh, investigation. I ain't <laughs> going anywhere near that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I already ground. dodged. I already dodged the Corona bullet this time. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go up to the door. Did, Craig says, "Did your did your coworker actually get coronavirus?" So no, it wasn't my coworker. It was my coworker's roommate, the dude he lives with, um, came down, you know, with uh, something pretty bad, pretty, pretty, you know, pretty fast. They confirmed it wasn't the current flu, a cold, or anything else, and so they assumed it must have been corona. Zika. But due to lack of tests, they haven't been able to test him. Okay. Corona, but it's like they're they're like at this point, what else could it be? Type of thing. I guess, yeah. That's that going to be sense. the new like sudden adult Those... death syndrome. It's like, well, he must have had corona. <laughs> Six bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this appears to be a corona. <laughs> the pull of his own blood. It's coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. But his symptoms are in line with what corona are. So, uh, so is your is your work buddy quarantined with him? Yeah, so oh, him, uh, <laughs> so him, his his wife, like, stay in your room. His, yeah, yeah. He stay in his room, but uh, his whole house is quarantined. I've been co- fucking quarantined because of my association with him, and fucking, I hate being quarantined. You can hear, you can hear camera, it. the craziness coming into Cameron's voice. Just... Dude, it's like, it's like I'm fucking going insane in here. Like, I, I am, 
an extroverted introvert, I'd like to think, for most of the time. It's called an omnivore. Um, I like coming home to an empty house or empty apartment and just do whatever the fuck I want to do. <laughs> Spend some days alone, but like weeks of being alone, I'm fucking going insane. I, uh, uh, well, I gave you like a little idea for a project. You could, you could, you could keep busy for Cameron. No, there's things to do, bro. No, <laughs> no, you're, you're, no, no. I, I can work from home just fine. So during the week, <laughs> I have a normal job that pays me a salary that I can fucking do. And it's just, it's just not being around coworkers and stuff and talking, joking around during the time. Like on, on Friday, work was so slow and Craig was off. Like I just fucking, as I was working, joined the, the PS4 party he was in just to chat and talk while I was working. Dude, it was, was pissing fun. me off. I'm like, I'm like at work, like suffering and I see all you guys. I'm like fucking bastards. Yeah. Okay, pretty soon, Cameron, you'll just flip that PS4 on and start playing while you're working. <laughs> no, 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 no. It'll, it's going <laughs> to happen, man. It's, it just because it's not a day one Inevitable. thing. It'll, it'll get there, yeah. You'll just be so bored that it's like, you know what? Fuck See, it. See, my job, so when stuff does come in, it's like there's no way I can divide my attention like that. So it just won't work. Not, not with what I do. I, I mean, it, it could it could just be I'm just not very good at the dividing my attention up. Like we found out playing Cuphead, when it's when there's like four or five different things you're supposed to be paying attention to, that's when my uh, concentration starts to suffer and I can't keep track of all that stuff. And so at work, if I'm not giving 100 percent to what I'm doing, I just I'm either paying attention to one thing or paying attention to a different thing. I can't split my attention on. I forgot I was gonna download that. Oops. Yeah, if you beat it, we can actually have a fucking review on it. <laughs> fucking shit. I bet you could. Yeah, one one y'all need to beat that Cuphead. It's a shame. It's a, here's, here's what happened hey, after I left. The switch People now. stopped you have beating that, games. You have that fucking Switch now. You beat it. Hey, we've been beating games. Don't even. <laughs> Leaving games unbeat. It has since, happened. Since Joe left. Well, this is just the one Cuphead that we've left unbeat. Let's see. It was... It wasn't just Cuphead. I, I didn't beat Uncharted 2. And I was supposed Why? to. Wait, for real? Yeah, That's I didn't a good finish game. it in time. No, I don't, I don't mind it. I did just you, did you actually beat it, though? No, I we didn't. We did review it, yeah. You guys... Did we review it? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Didn't we? Uh, Uh-oh. Uncharted Gate? I know we did Uncharted 1. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we did beat Uncharted 1. Maybe it was Uncharted 2. It's like the Bernstein Bears. Bears I think you guys beat Uncharted 2, and I was going to beat it. That's what it was, and I didn't. So that was one on me. We also had, near the end, Joe didn't even play Shadow of War. Um, (laughs) And you two didn't beat it, so... Fuck off, we beat it. (laughs) Just because because you wanted to sink uh, 100 hours into the the after-the-game part of the game doesn't mean we had to. Look, man, I rented it for two days, and I beat it. It's a, I mean, it was mostly those. But those two days were eclipsed by that game. But it was Cuphead and then the, the, the Dark the Souls. Happened. Oh no! It was Sekiro. Was Kit Sekiro. Craig didn't beat Sekiro. Yeah, that's right. No, we pushed back Sekiro once, but then we reviewed it. Yeah, but Craig okay. didn't beat it though. Is the thing oh, yeah, he was going to used outright to to play it. Yeah, to be, yeah. <laughs> used. So Cup. Cuphead is the yeah that's BS dude. I had to restart Alone in the Dark, a new nightmare twice, twice for the show. Look, look at the sacrifice. And you guys, you guys <laughs> Joe, wimp out now. Joe, you you fucking pick up Cuphead. You have that switch now. You fucking pick up Cuphead and play it. I think it's dude, on I the can't switch. Pick up Cuphead. There's no games on that switch. I know. How are there no games you, on there? Because uh, like they it. were mine. Yeah, but you can. They can still be played on the console um, by other users. It's true. No, I no. I wiped it. My games. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick up my own Switch, so I can't uh, have a, uh, you know, have my 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 Switch taken from me by the nude clan overlords. You know, come and get it type of mentality here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Come and take him. <laughs> <laughs> come and come and take it. Are you talking about the show that is responsible for about sixty percent of the revenue in New- in uh, Geekdom? Yeah. Are you yeah. About that? Yeah, that show being the Overlord. It's true. <laughs> uh, New Clan will eventually catch up, though. It will. 
<laughs> It'll be a little bit Especially though. now that that show is in its twilight years and the Corona is going to get it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe we're close to another game. Well, Joe is. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've got a little ways. I've got the dungeon and a half. Yeah. That's what I got left. Yeah, so no. it'll come back. And plus, we hit a new milestone we'll talk about on our next episode. Pretty impressive. Nice. Very impressive. Nice. Um, and then, Joe, what uh, what movie disturbed you as a child? What movie disturbed me? Oh, Labyrinth. When uh, when she's going <laughs> down the like the pit with the hands. Oh, Ooh, that's that's what nightmares are made out of. The, <laughs> all the hands touching her and that, like... And that, yeah, all... If you remember Labyrinth, there's a part where she's like in a dark room and all it is is hands coming out of the wall, like from all sides. It's really terrifying. Could it make you think of Joe Biden? Like sniffing you in your hair? It's like my hands are just like crisp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but can you find even more pixelated picture of him? Uh, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can make it bigger. Just this black smudge in the corner. <laughs> hiding up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's the extra creepy one. <laughs> uh, just two black holes where his eyes should be soulless, as his ginger self is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, fuck, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that movie was kind of creepy, too. It wasn't one that I watched all the time, though, like Signs, but... It wasn't ass. You watch, you watch saw it signs all the time because you're a masochist or what? Yeah, I think it's a good movie. No, it is a good movie. It's a really good movie. Swing away. I feel like The Grudge <laughs> had the potential to be a disturbing movie, but I just found it hilarious. Which one? Dude, my, my mom wouldn't let me see The Grudge, and then I watched it years later, and I'm like, this is a dumb movie. What exactly. Is this dumb? <laughs> it wasn't even scary. that bad. The, the scary movie uh, version, you know, with the grudge was did it justice? I feel. Yeah. So like this isn't like didn't scare me, but what, what was the one that uh that came out that they were like the they were like oh it's real it's like from the camera footage what's it called Oh Blair Witch Project the, No 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 the newer one The, the Ring one. No No it's the uh, one where they go like, they move to the house together the and house, she gets like yeah. possessed or whatever Oh paranormal activity Okay so like when I went and saw that it was like with my mom and like a bunch of her friends and the one of the the husbands had like it, told his wife it was a real story. So I went to go pee, like, midway through the movie, and when I came back, I, like, crawled in that sticky-ass floor, and I grabbed her <laughs> leg, and she, like, her food went everywhere. It was great. <laughs> she just, like, screamed. It was awesome. I, uh... Did you become a ghost hunter after that? No. I think that's a pretty... You, weren't you guys doing that stuff? You and your so, mom, all right, yeah, so, okay, shit? let's make me look like a jackass. So my mom's a ghost hunter, for those who don't know. Nice. So, like, yeah, so she, like, does all that. I know, she, she's, she's, been, she's been doing that for years. She does. Uh, there's there's stuff coming up. She's in Florida right now doing it right now. We should uh, have her get her equipment stuff. Let's go to, like, fucking Skinwalker Ranch. I'm never going back to Skinwalker Ranch. Go fuck yourself. Uh, dude, <laughs> I'm never going dude, back. Dude, I need to go to no, Skinwalker you, you don't. Ranch. You don't. It calls me. There. It's okay. Yeah, I want to know. Uh, part of me doesn't so... want to know, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But a large part what's does. The, what's the crazy uh, new clan host mom ranking now? What is the? Uh... My mom's not crazy. <laughs> Who's now the craziest? Oh mom, man, I wonder. I think Schweiss should weigh in on this. No, Schweiss is definitely his mom. Definitely wins. Uh, I don't know about I don't, that. I don't know anyone else's moms to be honest. Like I don't know, man. Yours puts up a fight, Cameron. She's been she's she's calmed down recently. I mean, she'll send some right wing bullshit every now and then, but uh, yeah, but only uh, I don't know, man. I I feel like adjusting a name by like two the the the, the movement of like two letters is pretty crazy. Wait, what? Happened? That was a long time ago. Your own identity. Wait, what happened? She changed her name from something to something almost the exact same. I but mean, it's like an it adjustment of it's, two it's, letters. It's like someone coming, you know, growing up in the South, having an extremely Southern name. She tra- changed it to something that wasn't as Southern. It's just like you know a you know a newscasting host, like Stephen Colbert, for example. He had a huge Southern accent that he trained out of himself when he became famous. How is that any different? Changing the entire way you speak just so you're not perceived in a certain way. I well, I mean, changing it from one name that sounds made up to another one that sounds made up is, is aren't, aren't kind of weird. Made up. There's a lot of people with that name, just so you know. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people with the other one, too. <laughs> and the other one's anyway, the only the, one uh, I've... The craziest thing she sent me just recently 
Oh, so yeah, she she had it in, in emergency surgery again. So that was fun a couple weeks ago, as the Corona thing was blowing up, coronavirus thing. Uh, but she recently just sent me. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, where do I find a gun that I can just buy without having to register? <laughs> 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 I really don't feel safe not having one. I'm like, well, you can just go buy a gun at a gun store, no, or, or no, you can buy like it. They're gonna come take your guns. Why you know what? No, she, your mom's right because the government's gonna start taking her shit, man. It's don't you, your mom's. Your mom's you, smart. You, all you have to do is buy it from another person in Utah. You I don't have ask, paper trail. Right, I know, I know. I didn't. I I wanted to tell her that, but I did. I don't, I, I don't want my kid, and of all the things I don't want my mom to have a gun I just really don't just don't, you don't feel safe some, some people shouldn't have guns including our old roommate yeah <laughs> yeah um, if they clean yeah, them in I the just, night I just think like, uh, <laughs> so there's this whole gun debate red flag laws and stuff like that my mom in a red flag state wouldn't be able to own a gun yeah I don't know if my, my mom I don't know if my mom would either my Mexican I don't let us own guns yeah, yeah. You guys just—you already have all the guns. You ship them in. Ship them in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It, it would be a toss-up. I mean, Joe's is clearly the most sane. Yeah. But that's easy because his parents Joe's are normal human beings. Stable family <laughs> life and stable parents. Yeah. All right. What can I do? Apparently Wait, nothing. Why? I <laughs> why? I, I, I'm coming all fresh that all this. for this. Why is I mean, why is, if, why is his mom's if you watch Split, you know who's coming for you, Joe. Yeah, uh, I've never seen Split. You, you haven't seen Split? No, no, no movie it's a shame. Guy? Yeah, I know. It's great. It's a fantastic it's movie a great from movie. an average movie person. It's a fantastic movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So my, I've heard it's good. I just haven't seen it. The acting range. Um, Did James McAvoy's fantastic. James McAvoy. Yeah, James McAvoy. His acting range in that movie alone, it's fantastic. I love it. I love that yeah, movie. I'll, I'll see it eventually. Yeah, that's like the top three. Shem, the last Shyamalan movie I saw was happening. <laughs> and and, I, was, oh, I can understand why you're hurt, Joe. I on Voodoo, so we all have it and watch it. Yeah, we. Uh, I, I think that's his third best movie. Really? Wait. One... Yeah, Unbreakable, mm. Sixth Sense, Signs. Fourth best. Oh, well, maybe third. It might be better than Signs. Signs is really fun, though. I, I Last really like Airbender. Signs. Yeah, no. <laughs> Every time Last Airbender is number one, what are you talking After about? After The Village, everything just... Uh, the Village just is like a downhill slide, and then everything else is just below that, sadly. <laughs> that boring movie that only douchebag film people, like, find things to like about. Like, that chat I was in, Joe, my God. They're like, oh, The Village is actually one of my favorite... Uh, one of my favorite movies from Shyamalan. I'm like, really? Do you like to fall asleep to movies or what? Like, <laughs> do you like I movies saw, to have boring... I saw The Village twice, and I liked it both times. I haven't seen it, though, since basically the year it came out. So I, I, I haven't know. seen it in a long time either, but I was like, at this twist, I was like, pfft, pfft, come on. I mean, there's, there's the part where Adrian Brody, like, you look up and, like, he stabbed someone, and you weren't expecting that. It's a really good scene. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Ooh. It's not the worst, but it's definitely the beginning of the downfall, like, clearly. Yeah, yeah, each, each, because, like, Six Sense is the high, and then Unbreakable, and then Signs, and then Village. Like, they just each get about (laughs) 5% less good as we go down. (laughs) But everybody forgets he actually had two movies before Six Sense. And yeah, terrible. I've never seen those. So I guess he's got phases where he goes <laughs> goes through. I didn't like Glass though either. I I thought Glass was stupid. I didn't see Glass one, one didn't a while ago. Yeah. And I I, I I enjoyed it, but I don't think it was like anything incredible. Yeah, I, I thought it was the ending was really disappointing. Yeah, it was cool and like thematically, but I don't know. I just I I, I felt like it was a rip off. And, I mean, I think most people did, too. That's why it's got, like, a 40% or something like that. I haven't, like I haven't that. Seen, the, seen that yet. It's the sequel to... Uh, I know. I uh, meant to go see it. I just yeah. never did. Yeah. So... It's the sequel to both Unbreakable and Split. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was the... That's the secret at the end of Split. You don't know until there's, like, a post scene, and yeah. you're like, Oh, my God! It's a universe! See, I knew... I knew because of the poster for the movie Glass. Yeah, oh that's true. That's really stupid. They give it away. What happened? I didn't it has it has uh it has um 
Samuel Bruce L. Willis. Jackson in the same Yeah, Sam role. Jackson on the thing. So if you hadn't seen Split, you know exactly what happens. So <laughs> he's isn't he only in it for like two seconds and they put him on the fucking poster? Who's Sam Jackson? No, he's in it for a long time. He's in, the main in, character. No, in I'm, not, I'm not talking about. Sp- I'm not seeing Split. Sorry, All right, I'm with you guys again. No, he's not in sp- Split. They didn't break the 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 because they show it's it's uh it's what's his name at the end. It's uh, Bruce Willis, isn't it? At the end, of yeah. Split. yeah. They don't say anything about that though. You, it's there's nothing. It's all under wraps. And that was one of three movies that I've had to have like mildly heated conversations with Alex about after the movie ended. <laughs> She's like, uh, "That was dumb," and I'm like, "What?" Uh, that's what she said about, uh, that's what she said about fucking, oh man, what movie was it? The alien movie with like the, oh hey, thanks for the, thanks for the follow. The alien movie about the fucking, um, language, the lost language, Arrival, Arrival. She was like, what? she, she thought the, she said it didn't make sense and I was like, what? Dude, I was in buckets, I was in buckets watching that movie. I, oh no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. That's one of the greatest movies ever made. That's straight, straight up. Yeah, that's a great movie. That that is one of the best space spacey alien movies that's ever been done. Yeah, but have you guys seen The Last Jedi? Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I I was like and I had to I had to explain it. I was like I was like one of those things where like I was getting mad because I loved the movie so much and she was just like, "Eh, I don't know." And I was like, "No, no, no. This She's like, "Well, then how does this make sense?" Like, and I was like, "No, remember the beginning when she's like having these weird thoughts and like you think the kid is hers now but really it's the f- kid in the future but really it's now because time is all like one thing when you learn this language she's like well how does that make sense I was like well I I mean I guess you could argue that maybe she should have had it her whole life but we only saw the bitch from like the start of the movie we don't know if she's been hearing shit and seeing things her whole life she might be but I think she was because remember I think she had drawings from like when she was younger where she had like a, a family and stuff and like I, I don't know. I think that movie is amazing, and I think the concept uh, of time is really fucking cool in that movie. And you have to really like think about it to like make it make sense, you know. And it's still hard to to like fully wrap your mind around it. But I was like trying to wrap her mind around it, and she was. I was getting kind of <laughs> mad. <laughs> uh, you know what? The same thing with Split. She's like, "Well, he's not a superhero." And I'm like, "No, he's a superhero." Like, I think it's kind of lame that they made him a superhero, but, but I mean, he is a superhero. He has supernatural powers because of it. It's like, well, yeah, but it's 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 a it's a real disease. I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, there's like one case ever, but it's not going to make you like super strong or anything. I mean, that's just impossible. He's a superhero because of... He's super strong, but he can't swim. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a superhero <laughs> because of this guy at the end. He has a super weakness. He just needs to have floaties on. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's, he's a superhero <laughs> because of this... Because of this other movie with Bruce Willis where he can't be hurt or killed, basically, and now he's at the end of the movie and it's a super, super hero universe thing. Yeah. And it's, it's like Nick Fury being at the end of uh, Iron Man. Movie. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, except for no one's pretending that Iron Man's real. It's true. It's the difference. And so I, I had to spend like 20 minutes like, no, no, no. It is real and it is kind of a play on, hey, maybe it is a superpower, a real-life superpower that some people have. And it's just kind of playing on that being a possibility while the movie is, he is actually a superhero. Like, right. It, it's both. It's, it's playing on the idea that maybe this is a supernatural power maybe, that some people have, but in have, the movie, he definitely is a superhero. Maybe after work, I'll go stop by Best Buy real quick and pick it up. Yeah. I mean, I really like it for, for its subtlety. It's not like Smack in the Face superhero movie. No, it's yeah. Just, it's, it's, it's subtle and, like, more or less... If someone in real life discovered they have some, had power like that, like exactly, how yeah, it, how how did it come about? And that's what she um, wanted it to play more off of. And then I told, explained to her that the ending made that kind of obsolete, which is kind of lame, but it also still works because of what you just said. It's like it's subtle about it. It's not, right. it's not super direct, and it is explaining a real condition. Well, we like, do have a, a couple of questions in the after dark chat. If we wanted to answer them, they're quick questions. Yeah, we can do it. We can knock it out. And then wrap up with this one for here. Um, from Ultra Greg, how many monster drinks are too many before noon? Two. <laughs> and I, I feel like I, I have uh, experienced the limit of what you can have before you start to lose years off your life. Yeah. Well, how many was that, Cameron? I had uh, four before noon, and then I had, like, <sighs> I had, I had five in a nine-hour period. 
I oh. and that started to really fuck me up. Yeah. That was when I had to. That's when I took time off of work so I could beat fucking Persona Five, the fucking 150 hour game. Jesus. Whoa. Oh. Thank you, thank you for the follow, wow. Naum Warfare. Oof, that's too many. That's too many. I think. Uh, I think. Um, too you need to have your thing. your you need to have your caffeine um, tolerance level low enough that those things can actually be effective. Yeah, so. two, two is okay, but again, you shouldn't be slamming your drinks all the time. I used to be that person who's slamming them all the time. I just can't do it anymore. I had to back off the caffeine just a little bit. It's your old age catching up to you. Probably, and it's a. Uh, no amount of caffeine can fix lack of sleep, so get fucking sleep. That's like drinking unicorn blood. You're living a half life and a cursed life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I think two is probably pretty high. I mean, I I I, I get the Joe sensation where after I have too much caffeine, I start to feel paranoid. No, no that's a that's a new podcast for Joe, the Joe sensation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that tingling up your back. That's me. <laughs> Welcome to the show. No, I found out uh, that an energy drink and three or four cups of coffee is enough to induce a panic attack, so. Yeah. That sounds like a panic attack, bro. Yeah, that does sound like a panic attack. <laughs> um, and then Felicia Nomiko, she asked, uh, what whiskey scotch would you recommend sipping while smoking a cigar? And I feel like this is more of a forum question to get a whole bunch of people's experiences, just because... I can only answer based off of my limited experience in smoky whiskeys, and so of course my suggestion would be the Yugadol from Ardbeg. Oh, Ardbeg is great. Um, but then again, probably there are people out there who probably suggest like uh, fucking I don't know. What is uh, what is that uh, whiskey that <laughs> really the dude from know. Parks and Rec drinks? I don't know. I don't no watch idea. that show. Log 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 Olin or something like that. Um, but uh, I think Ardbeg is a great balance between flavor and smoky. Yeah, uh, sensation. So uh, I would say I suggest. Ardbeg would be good to just slowly drink. I like that a lot. Well, um, while, while smoking a cigar. So. Yeah, that would make yeah. it. Ah, oh, that would be really good. Yeah, that's what I suggest. Yeah, I would agree I, with that. I can't say that. That I've ever had. <laughs> so, I don't know. I have nothing on this, Zach. I don't. I ever smoked a cigar. So. Oh really? Oh man. You, uh, I guess. I mean, that makes sense. But. <laughs> well, you know, just. You know. I'm not from Cuba. <laughs> you, you know well, what? You're not from Cuba. <laughs> but... No, I'm just saying. You know, it makes sense. It's not everyone smokes. I mean, it's, yeah, that's true. And cigars, I mean, yeah, they're you, you gotta. They're different than cigarettes. Cigarettes you can just like pound. Cigars you have to like fucking. You just don't breathe it in. You just kind of let it sit in your mouth. It's really weird. I don't okay. know which one I like more. I don't know. I don't feel like the. I don't feel like the. Uh, tobacco really works as well for a cigar for me. I don't know about you, Cameron, but, like, when I'm drinking, and I drink a lot, I usually drink, and then I smoke a cigarette, or, like, some form of tobacco. I mean, yeah. I inhale. It, it's, it's because when you drink, you just tend to do things you wouldn't do normally. Yeah. It's, it's and I don't know if I've ever had a good cigar smoking night, and then felt the next day that I want to smoke another cigar either, which I have felt after smoking. I mean, I had a, a fun <laughs> night in Vegas that was pretty good. Did you feel the urge to smoke a cigar the next day, though, like an actual... I mean, I mean, I didn't have the urge not to. Like, it didn't make me sick. It's not like I wanted to go out and smoke a cigar right there, but it's not like I wouldn't do it again if the opportunity arose. Yeah. See, the last time I drunk, drunk a ton and smoked... Uh, like a bunch of cigarettes and then also some some vape pen, some douche pen. I uh, the next day <laughs> when I woke up the next day, I was like, man, I could really go for one of those cigarettes that I have, and I I have the pack still, and I was I was like, no, nope, can't do it because if I start doing this, I'm gonna feel it every day. It's it's over, and it's over, yeah. <laughs> and so I stuck it in my desk, it's and I'm over. like, it's over twice. Yeah, nicotine has the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> you can't win. <laughs> Don't try it. <laughs> Don't yeah. try it. So I, 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 I saw that and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> So I don't know how I don't. <laughs> we should uh, totally make a Star Wars anti-smoking meme. <laughs> <laughs> don't try it, Anakin. You underestimate my power. You underestimate the power of nicotine. Yeah. <laughs> Look what it did to General Grievous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we could do that. God, yeah. I so I don't know. I I I like smoking cigars. It's fun, but I don't feel like it's as relaxing to me. Although I don't know if I've really smoked oh, okay, good cigars. Okay. What we either. need to do is actually have a legitimate like whiskey drinking, cigar smoking, like get together where we'll have like play cards, have some good whiskey, maybe some like smoked sausages and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, and see, like, that stuff that we used to, we've done that a couple times in the past. Yeah, but not with everything else. Just played cards. Well, we had the, there was, oh, no, you weren't there that day, were you? mm nope. Oh, there was a day where that's exactly what happened, and it was great. It was so relaxing. It's probably with cheap whiskey, though. Wow. It was with, the, I had a 20, I bought a 24-pack of Corona, actually. God damn it. And I drank 23 <laughs> of them. And then I went to a family reunion the next day and vomited multiple times. <laughs> Ugh, corona is so gross, dude. Dude, I know. I haven't even finished off the one pack I bought as a meme. Yeah. The the thing is, is it's actually never Corona time. That's what they don't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it never has or will be Corona time. The thing is, so I bought a, I bought a pack of Paps. And the flavor profiles are similar, but the past is just so much sweeter, whereas the crun is just bitter. Yeah, and the thing is... the word flavor profile? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, so so fucking... So, like, parents that can of past and, like, drink that and sit with that weedy flavor. It just, like, it just tastes like a fucking loaf of bread. You just want to, like, fucking put peanut butter jelly between two cans of past and just enjoy that. (laughs) Yeah. It is good, and even the low carb uh, Pabst is way better. So I yeah, mean, it's, it's just not so even so weedy and just like a good sweet bread flavor. Yeah, whereas Corona is just bad. Corona, I don't know what they do to that. It's Modelo is so much better. Like if we're talking Mexican beers, uh, it tastes just like well, beer. That's the thing, Corona tastes like nothing else. <laughs> it's it's like Diet Coke. <laughs> it's just like so foreign from all other drinks. It's like its own its own thing. Except Did I actually he, uh... like Diet Coke. Do we want to talk about anything else? No, I think we're good. I'm good. You good, Zach? We're good? Yeah. We good? You good? We should do that, though. We should have one of those, uh, like an After Dark episode or a special where we're playing cards and smoking cigars. I have a and... poker set at my house. Um, do, where would we do it, though? <sighs> Who Who's okay with smoking inside? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we well, can Cameron got a nice big apartment. <laughs> yeah, Cameron, yeah, no you're... fucking smoking going on here. <laughs> yeah, you got no roommates. I've got three roommates. No smoking going on here. Smoking I don't want to get open up the window. Pipe in a blitz. We no. could we could so just get a laptop. Why, why and... could why couldn't we just like fucking do it out back in your patio area? Yeah, we could do that <laughs> in the jungle. <laughs> no, he has a fenced-in patio area. It's not a jungle now. Winter happened. It killed everything. Oh, and Joe, Jake and I uh, dug everything up last year. Oh, uh, nice. We got it down. Yeah, you, right. can use, you can use a little table back there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah maybe like a, a hot tub and then get some like waterproof I'm cards. Sh- a hot tub, I'm yeah. Sure your neighbors, of- I'm sure your neighbors would love it if we all went over there as rowdy as we are. <laughs> Dude, it'd be amazing. It'd be under, the f- one of the funnest experiences of any of us. fucking bring the drum set and everything, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. bring my bass. <laughs> Good times. Hidden somewhere in my house. Yeah. <laughs> um, or we could do it at Zach's place. There's no smoking in my house either. What about your uh, backyard? I have a patio, actually. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Cameron, you're the no. winner here. No, we're not doing it at my place. But I, I'd like it's to do it here in Provo because of all the LDS people around here. I'll be honest. I'm being a dick. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Join we can... us, elders. I'll call the missionaries over. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to convert. Dude, I tell you, the Cameron, the sister missionary, sent me a text. 
Yeah, you're saying. Yeah, my yeah. boss got mags here and heard me, and I was like, I'm getting laid this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it doesn't count if I put it in your ass. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I got a meme I'm going to send you guys a little bit later. It's just soaking, man. Yeah, I just so, want to soak. <laughs> so there's, a, there's, a, there's a meme, sorry, real quick, speaking of that, that I got sent from someone at my work. But it's like a news bulletin. And it's all in Utah today, an earthquake registering a 5.7 magnitude. 56 BYU students who were soaking broke the law of chastity in the tremors. <laughs> soaking is like such a gross fucking term. It's so nasty. It's like your dick just gets spongy and soft because of the soak. Like, it gets all fucking wrinkly. Yeah. <laughs> you get a wrinkly cock. So that means it just becomes grippy. Like it's, yeah. It's so oh, evil. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get her off me. It's it's gripping, man. <laughs> stuck in the soak. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't know. It just sounds gross for some reason. It's just like oh, it's super gross. <laughs> I can't believe like just real quick. I can't believe someone fell for that fucking shit too. Now it doesn't count if I just sit there. Yeah, yeah. How ridiculous is that? So, I mean, I, I, I would, that would be something I would try to come up with, though. I'd be like, you know, uh, <laughs> if we just kind of sit there and don't move at all. You know, God gave out. you a back door. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock, knocking on your back door. <laughs> knock, knock, knocking at the brown door. Your. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, so, I mean, I get it. It's like, yeah, it's a shitty excuse, but I would come up with any excuse, too. <laughs> well, he's like, yo, it's 4 a.m., but, uh, you know, I'm awake, so come on, let's, let's do this. <laughs> what do you mean you're tired? It's just wake up and go back to sleep. <laughs> it's any excuse. <laughs> yeah, I'll sleep better. Yeah, yeah just go to so sleep. Better, trust sleep. Me. sleep like a baby. Here's your vitamin D. <laughs> yeah. It's a, any excuse. That's the thing. Uh, all right, so I think that's it for this After Dark. Thank you for joining us, Joe. I'm glad we got the Facebook thing. I don't know why Skype refuses. I Skype, we've had problems with with the settings for a while. Refuse. It like doesn't want to have the input refuse. and the output on the same thing ever. Like It just refuses uh, to acknowledge. It'll do the input for Skype, but it won't do the output for the for the fucking mixer, which is really lame, because Facebook chat... I'm going to go over there, and it'll be some easy fix. Yeah. I'm going to slap you. I'm going to slap you. Look, man, it works just fine for... See, the problem is, he, he tries to figure it out right when he needs it. And so we have, he has to make do with something else that might work. <laughs> that might be the problem. You might be on to something. But uh, now that we know... But uh, how often are we gonna have to teleconference in? Like how many other diseases are gonna run through? <laughs> this is just this is just like the first pestle into the apocalypse. Like they're just gonna keep coming. Yeah, about every six years it seems like something comes out of China that tries to kill everybody else. So. <laughs> well, we got fucking you know six years to to plan for that shit. Yeah, true. Yeah, that is true. We got some time. We... Yeah, you can just buy a microphone, Cameron. <laughs> yeah, I mean I have a microphone here. Yeah, yeah, don't it. you? Yeah. Right. yeah, but the digital, yeah. it just doesn't have the same feel, being being a part. Being I, mean, I mean, we're fucking Maybe using you can a come Facebook up with, like, account. it's not like the I'm using a microphone to make me sound any better right now. That's true, the unless you record well, it on, if you record it on your everybody hand. had their own recording, you can slice them together. We've done this before. Oh, yeah, but we're not going to do that. Yeah. We... <laughs> This but is the uh, this is this is the show that pulls audio from Twitch when they need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. True. I didn't actually do that the other week. I just You didn't? No, I spliced it perfectly. Uh-huh. It died so we right. Didn't lose, we didn't lose much. Though. No, it died right where we needed it to actually. I only had to edit like half a second off and then we moved right into the topic. Oh, it was sweet. it was impressive. Huh? Well, that's nice. Not yeah. having to listen to fucking Twitch audio. Yeah, now we don't have to. Um, which probably sounds even worse, <laughs> if that's even possible. Uh, but cool. I guess we'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you for the questions. Thanks for the calls. Um, 385-204-3921. That's where you can call us. Leave us your voicemail. We'll give you your questions. You can also join the After Dark uh, Discord. It's 
you know, the full Geekdom Entertainment Discord channel. But there is an After Dark Questions, and I just created an After Dark Discussions area as well. So if you want to discuss After Dark <laughs> and questions uh, posed in After Dark, please go there. Any questions, just put them in the After Dark Questions. We'll try to keep those two separate. Um, so that we can just easily go through and answer the questions instead of having chat about the questions on the side. If you guys want to talk about those, use the After Dark discussion um, tab for all open stuff so we can kind of keep it a little more organized. Um, it's the tough It's the tough part. We had the same problem with the forums back in the day. We've got Discord now is even more of a like a brute force trauma style fucking thing where it's just line after line after line. linear yeah, yeah. And pure linear so it's even worse but it's also great so please join it you can join by going through our link on our twitter at nude clan podcast for the show or my personal twitter at uff podcast you can find zach at b grixis find cameron at nude clan cam and if you want to follow joe if you really feel like it it's at joseph de Gaulier. <laughs> on Twitter. Thank you. Um, and Craig, of course, at Obsidian Ba. I almost forgot it for a second. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Craigert? Yeah. At Craigert. <laughs> at Craigert. Craigert Ba 69. <laughs> um, you can follow him there, too. And hopefully he'll be here next week. Hopefully his uh, head doesn't feel like a bowling ball or some other ball <laughs> next yeah. time. <laughs> See if we can get him. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at I'm looking at the picture of Craig here, and the funny thing about the picture is just it's not so much him, it's the texture of his skin. He looks like a porcelain doll. <laughs> <laughs> it's a porcelain Craig. Yeah, he looks Do like not harm him. He looks like you'll be able to break him open on the midsection, he and there'll be a smaller like, version on the inside. Like, like a porcelain doll you would find at an antique store. That's what that looks like. <laughs> You think it's a Rus- Russian nesting Craig? It's one of those. Yeah. Like, <laughs> pop it up when there's a skinnier version of Craig, and you just get down to like pristine Craig in the in the very bottom. And then there's a there's a chocolate underneath that one. That is true. He is like sh- he's got a sheen to him. He, he looks. It's almost perfect. It could also be that the fucking JPEG is <laughs> missing from that. Fucking pixels gone. Yeah, that picture was taken a long time ago. So I mean. Perhaps it's his beauty is in pixelation. Who knows? It's, it, the, it, the sheen is just so perfect, though. You're right. It's like he looks he looks manufactured. <laughs> the Craig's not real. He's just this is perfection. Yeah, I am male perfection. <laughs> we all look up to him for that. That's right. That's right. I mean, he is a lord now, guys. Be aware. Yeah, 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 that's true, that's true. Just bored. All right, well, we'll catch you guys again next time.